do something. Aye, okay. So I'm going to start recording now. And now I've recorded. We got all our banter out of the way. So we don't, that's not going to be kept okay. in the video. Yeah. So look, what we'll do is we'll do this. We'll do a punchier version than we did previously. And uh, a slander free version, even. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> there's no slander. Uh, let me see. Right. Here we go. And come here if you're tired. Sure, we can just do 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 a, oh. a wee bit anyway. Oh, I would just stop sharing right now. Your screen sharing is paused. Hmm, what's going on there? Can you see anything on my screen? Just an ask for to start a screen sharing, and just a picture of you and me. That's all. Oh, that's your back again, full screen. Hmm, make sure you can through. How about that? You see anything now? Oh, yeah. I wrote. Hmm. What that didn't share my uh, calendar. But anyway, doesn't matter. Now, do you recognize where you are? Um, do I that unkempt field. Somebody just let that go, to, to go wild altogether. It's one of those European diversity reservations, whatever you call them. Where are we? That's your house. <laughs> that's my oh, that's my diversity, <laughs> my wildflower field. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, you see the, the hedge? Yeah. Yeah, I was spinning by September 2021. Actually, we're right here. What's interesting out here now? No, what do we say now? There's Joe McGill. She goes, yeah. Yeah. You got hers. What are we in? And, and there's a side to the white gates coming up. Yeah, on the left there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then yeah. the wee curve in the road was over here, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. We yeah. did this before on some other map, by the way. Yeah. We we'll cut through there and came in. Yeah. Came in there, did it? Oh, there's a wee site there. I see what you mean. As we say, it's still there, yeah. Yeah, anyway, we won't talk about sites when we're recording this for the wider community. Yeah, we'll get into time. Those houses wouldn't have been there back in the... No. They're all 60s, all new, yeah. 70s, 80s. Yeah. 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 Yeah, all right. And there's the railway line there. That's right, yeah. All right, up to the road. Did a nice job here. That's when they widen that footpath. Mm -hmm. Right now, there's for Kelvin, and let me just see in there. Just from right here, yeah, right, station yeah. house. Now, what the station when you were first in Glenties in the when would that be? Nineteen fifty what? Six. Nineteen fifty three or fifty two or. Um, oh, was that know? when you were first? Jesus. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. This yeah. Is Johnny. <laughs> Oh. Here, let me wait a minute. Let me stop sharing and pausing. All right. Okay, we're back on track again. Ah, Jesus, just keep showing my calendar. That's so annoying. I'm going to edit this afterwards. Flipping thing. Ah, uh, uh, you were saying when they came to Glantis first. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah, when you've been first, Glantis first, what was here? Obviously, that building wasn't there. The station no. house was there. Station was house the... was there. And then to the right uh, to the right of the station house there, there was a good store, which is demolished now. Oh, I remember that good store. Yeah, that Why good did store. they demolish that? Jeez, yeah, it's gone. I, I don't know. Why? Yeah, see where that, yeah, that's where the good store stood. I remember them well. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Who used the good stores? Oh, well, that's where the all you know the stuff coming in on the train, you know, oh, the goods were stored. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, there was a kind of a loading ramp, you know, that you could back up to and load up, you know. But who used it since the since the railway closed? Uh, I'm not sure. I thought maybe Johnny Boyle's of the hotel might have had it or something. I have mm. a funny feeling that Johnny Boyle might have used it as a store for bottling or something like that, you know? All right. Well, maybe somebody will yeah. add a comment on this yeah. video and tell us where, what, what they and, remember. And, uh, see, where Pat Ward's garage there was, mm. there was a tin shed there. 
and it was supposed to be originally put up by J uh, Johnny Cunningham, who was a mechanic. Was that like Danny Ward's garage? No, that that was before Danny's time. Yeah, but I mean, it was it was a, it was a different shed again. Yeah, it was a tin. Yeah, it was just. But a it was a tin shed. This used to be a, a a red tin shed, or a... yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, but that yeah. was Danny's at the time. Yeah, well, it wasn't Danny put it up. No, I but understand that. Yeah. yeah, so Pat or somebody built. And then one. you see where they that those those, those um uh posts or that fence that mm. picket fence behind there. Mm. There was a wee shop there, and that that belonged to uh we called them Paddy Bazaar. I'm no sure. way. Yeah, I think it was actually, it might have been a wooden sh uh, shop, a wooden built thing, you know. But that that was a little, he had a little shop there. He got the, the custom from the railroad, you know, when it was running, you know. Oh, right. That would be brilliant. Just for the, so did that, when did, how long did that last? When did that close? I mean, I suppose. Oh, the railroad closed about, I think around 1953. The, the the railroad finally stopped, I think, you know, or maybe when you even... were in the town when you moved in John Cunningham's, was it was it still there? Still open? It, was still it wasn't open. open. No, it was still there, but it wasn't I don't All think right. it just shut I don't down. think it was running. The last train I remember last steam train I remember, I was staying in uh, Antip it was actually Antip steam. Huh? It was steam. Steam train, yeah. It was uh, only ever steam, there was never a diesel on it. Oh, there was always the the I was there was diesel diesel rail buses on it, but um, the, the, I remember I was staying in and uh, as we called her Auntie Biddy's house, Auntie Bridget's house, and my mother's aunt up where Uncle Michael is now. Oh. And uh, I remember har up for the harvest fair, and I remember getting up in the morning, I heard a train whistle, and then the steam train came along with a whole line of goods wagons away into Glenties. Apparently, they were to. Collect cattle from the har and livestock from the harvest fair. No way. Yeah. And what do you think that 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 was? That must have been around nineteen fifty, I would say. You know. Wow. And um, and this wee shop of what is it on Paddy Bazaar? What do you call it? Paddy Bazaar. I, yeah. I can't remember what his right name was. No. <laughs> okay. He used to play. He used to play the fiddle and he used to play the spoons. Oh, very good. And did the uh, did that shop survive? Long after the closing, of the uh, it river. did. Yeah, yeah. I say that that shop survived until Pat Ward, Pat Ward took over the garage. You know, and I think Pat Ward might have incorporated part of it into the shed. That shed. I uh, know, but it wasn't. There wasn't a shop there. No, it, it wasn't. No. Now, when did the shop close? I mean, oh, he probably closed it when the railway closed. Yeah, you know? that's what I was thinking because I never remember the no. actual shop there. Yeah, and there's a road down to the laurels there. No, that's not the Laurels. That's no uh, down there. Was it not down there? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. You go on. Uh, we'll see now. That's a wee road. Well, maybe it is. It is. Right? It's around the back, does it? it does. Yeah. Uh, maybe it does. Yeah, I can't remember now. Used to be the a different wall there. That's where I used to park. All ah, right. Yeah. Yeah. I used yeah. to park all the bikes. Myself, the Cannons, the Brennans, our bikes. We yeah, park in a line park. here oh, as we walk oh, yeah. into school. Yeah. Right. Why did we not park our bikes down there? Anyway, it was a habit when we to park them here. Here's your four wheel up. Oh, geez, can't go backwards now. Yeah. Oh, that wall there. So it's still the same wall. Yes. Can you drive down there? No, it looks like Google Street View didn't go down there. Anyway, it's another, another day. Okay. And this, was, this used to be a field here and the tennis courts and stuff, wasn't it? Sorry, that's where McGurk's were set up. I remember yeah, from Benizia, that's right. yeah. For that, um, for the uh, they built that very nice sports facility and the running tracks looking great. Now, they did a great job fixing that up. Yeah, it was looking good. Now, obviously, that used to be the hospital. Yeah, and we might go back over old photos and if we look at that now. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, look at that. That's not we transition in the weather for us. We've gone. Just, Bit of uh, sunny spells, as I would say. Right. And uh, yeah, I remember us doing this before and talking about the wee, what was this dispensary of some dispensary, sort? Dispensary, yeah. 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 When it was part of the hospital, what was that again? I don't think it was part of the hospital. I think it was built after the hospital was demolished. Ah, was it? Right. Right. Not coming into town. 
in the park. It's um, there's that nice footage on YouTube then from the fifties when that park was sort of yeah put in part of the tidy town yeah well let's take it part of the tidy town kind of activities and that grotto. What's your oldest memories of that grotto now? I vaguely remember it being built. I think it was built to commemorate a Marian year, whatever year the Marian year was, you know. So that's the 1950s vibe, or? Yeah. Like that up. 954. Yeah, that would probably be it, yeah. Oh, yeah. 954 is a great year for the construction of outdoor shrines in Grottos in Ireland. <laughs> Pope yeah. Pius the twelfth. He must have contracts. Must have... That's it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yep. There we go. Nine fifty four. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. I remember even when they put it in, when this year this junction was cleaned up. It's been mm -hmm. a nice junction before that. Right now, let's see what we got here. This place, Kelvin. Kelvin. Yeah, that was it there. Yeah. For... That's one of the oldest houses there. That was a hotel. When you were, when you, what, when I was there, uh, actually, I remember Louis, it was a fellow called Louis, Louis Walsh, the solicitor. He lived there because I remember being at card planes down there with my uncle. I was just taken down and put sitting in a corner, basically, you know, while the adults played cards. Well, that was his house. That was his house, yeah, or he lived there and he was it not a hotel? Sorry, it was then, a, it then became a hotel, yeah. It was a fellow from Northern Ireland took it over and he made it into a hotel, but that was in the 70s. So, 60s, so when, it's 60s, sorry. Right, so in the 50s, it was a residence for a while. It was a residence, yeah. yeah. Was it originally a residence? Yeah, so no, there was a shop, and I think there was, Kennedy's used to work out it, but there was a shop always on one side of it, yeah. Yeah, it looked like a shop vibe yeah, over there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. And then can we guess that just needs a bit of work, doesn't it? Mm. And we won't be judging, right? No, that's mm. Frank Conan's new house. That wasn't there. No, the yeah, what was there? It was just a wee field, was it? Just a field, yeah. Or a wee site of some sort. And then the next house was the curate's house. No, that looks an old house. Yeah, that was an old house. That was one of the original. So that was there when you were? Yeah, it was, yeah. And why did it have this weird construction of um, a we sort of archway into a front door on the second? You know, who, it's got a who knows? Base. Who knows? But the right. road is much higher than the yeah, yeah. So there's a bit of a slope here, I guess. Yeah. And hang on, is it the same vibe over here? No, you see over here, places are on the level. Mm. It's dropping down there. Okay. Yeah. That's a bit strange, though. Huh? Hmm. All right, whatever. And then that estate was built in the eighties, was it or nineties? I forget. McCloskey Park or whatever you call it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that wasn't there when I No, that was just a actually those rhododendrons or wherever they were extended around here. It was just mm -hmm. a field, wasn't it? Uh, I think so, yeah. And oh, then yeah, then right. hang on, I need to go both sides here. Why didn't the wee yard there in the back? Uh, that's Bernie McAloon's house. That wasn't there. No, I remember that one. Uh, two, yeah. Oh, the two McAloon's actually, Bernie right. and the son. Yeah, yeah. Were neither of them there? Neither of them were there. No. All right. So this was the kind of modern. Yeah. Under the yeah, the modern side of Glenties over yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. This all kind of part of the town got developed. So there's a long run, in a way, between the town itself and a bit of a, yeah. bit of um. Blue water or green field between it and yeah. the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Except for the curate's house and the Kelvin house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so here, classic. Up here, who's this guy again? I forget. Uh, that was Charlie Cannon's house. He was the chief of uh, chief maintenance man for McDevitt's factory. Right. Ah, right. He built the house. You think? He built that house. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What was there? Do you remember? So do you remember what was there beforehand? No. Don't mind it's just a just field. a feel like that field beside it. Yeah, all right. Gotcha. And then now let's say you have some memories of this place, and I don't mean as the limelight or it, even no, it was originally uh it didn't have that extension to the right, it was just a shed more or less straight back. 
a, a cinema. Yeah. It's a cinema. It's a Dominic's Hall. Yeah. I said cinema that. come dance hall. Plenty of memories in that. We'll get them on the comments, I hope, in this video. Lots of people have memories of St. Dominic's Hall from, even I remember. Yeah. Um, that was my my first job was assistant projectionist there. First one job I actually got paid a salary for two shillings and sixpence a week. And what would that buy you? Uh, but, uh, two shillings and sixpence in those days would be, you know, you could, I think it was sixpence to get into the pictures. You know, right? Okay, yeah. so what am I equivalent of now? Like 40 quid or something, or I don't know, possibly, right? But and uh, how much work do you have to do for that? Yeah, uh, two shows on a Sunday, and then I think there was a, a Saturday night that was three, and two more during a uh, five, I think it was five shows they used to have, I think, and you would go in there. And do what? I went upstairs. You got the boxes of films that'd be left at the door, 10 boxes of films. And you'd have to wind them onto the reels for the projectors. And, uh, uh, you, you, uh, you know, a typical film would call with maybe maybe three reels, you know. Mm. And you'd wind them all up and put those two projectors and you put on reel one on one projector, reel two on the other, and you'd have another one ready to go, you know. So you you sh you showed one reel and then you switched over when you came to the end you had to switch over very quickly onto the other one so there was no loss of continuity you know and then you took that reel off and you put the next one on and you you went to the rewinding station then and you wound that one on to another reel and put it back in its box you know so at the end of the night you had all your you had to you 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 had to have all your reels rewound onto the the one the, the box uh, uh the, the the reels that came in and boxed ready to go onto the down low I think was the next cinema used to get them you know ah oh, geez right so wow okay and so how long how long would a phone run for then a couple of hours you know no no I sure no I meant a reel. No, I'm sorry. I actually meant would a film be in the in St Dominic's Hall for a week, for two weeks, for three weeks, or no? You'd, I think they just change nearly every. Most of them, I think, change nearly every every night. You know, I think. But you know what I mean now when a film's on. Those I know shows. it goes on. Yeah, it doesn't. It didn't. I don't remember it being like that. If there were some very good ones on, you might run them again. Maybe I, you know. But normally, I always remember. They would have different ones on. You'd have a program. It would be interesting actually get a program from one of the old programs. Jesus, somebody has one. Maybe they'll. they'll sure, yeah. So we. So and then. So all right. So that means then they'd be they'd be you'd show them once or twice and then they'd be off to Dunlop. Off again, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'd be getting them from Donegal or Kelly Beggs. The next one would come from Kelly Beggs, probably you know or something. Yeah. And did they um um would there ever be movies where there be there'd be people queuing up to get in or. People book their tickets. I mean, were there any like a film everyone wanted to see, and there'd be pandemonium to get into them, or what? Don't remember that, you know. I suppose you could always go to the low. Well, yeah. so it wouldn't be easy. Yeah. All right. So it was never right. And was that a was that a, a sought after position? Um, probably was. You know, because you got to see the movies for free. <laughs> the other thing pay. is, you see, they used to have dances. They used to have dances some nights there. And uh, you'd be able to get in free to the dances. Oh, this would be one of the perks of the job, would it? Yeah, one of the perks of the job. Right. I think towards the end, but then a, a dance floor, ha half the half the cinema was seated and half of it was flat dance floor with temporary seating and it cleared that away. And sometimes they have dances on a Saturday night or something, you know. Right. So, uh, the, uh, if you, uh, as an employee of the company, you get in free, which was a big good perk, you know. That was a great perk. And uh, <laughs> did the uh, right. And so, uh, yeah, how did you get that job? You remember? I have no idea. I did probably just asked for it, you know. Yeah, well, then ask and you shall receive. Fair play. Right. Let's see what well. What else we have here? We have McGlynn Cheese, which I remember. Yeah, that used to be a, a, a pat era. Mrs. Rogers. There was a Mrs. Rogers and that a little sweet shop when I came to town first. Mrs. Rogers. And where was she from? I don't know. Her her son was Patsy Rogers. 
and Mrs. Rogers' father was supposed to have made his money in the States and Alaska or somewhere because he came home and he bought that whole block there and he bought houses in the Rocky. I mean the whole you. block all the way over to here. Yeah, I think I think he might have owned the whole block. I'm not sure, but he owned a good bit for the property in town. Anyhow, I know that. Right. And um very good. Uh, it must be the sorry, I'm just thinking about this September 21. Neve Connell were in the senior final, were they? Mm -hmm. Must have been. Anyway, and who was in this house here at the time? 50s. That was, uh, I think it was the O'Donnells, Mary Rowell, I think, Jimmy O'Donnell. Mm -hmm. Don't know who was there, I can't remember. What did it was, I wonder, was it even there? It looks a wee bit more. What oh, was there? That, uh, that oh, I sorry, that looks old. That's one of the old houses, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just we look on the other side of the road here if we can get around this truck. That's McGuinness's. Oh, that's Wee Joe's pub. Yeah. I am oh, to, that was Wee Joe. Wee Joe Gallagher. Was that always a pub? It was always a pub. Wee Joe, I think he, I think he used to like even bottle his own husky from casks. I remember somebody telling me that, you know. Dangerous habit. Yeah. <laughs> Cask strength whiskey. <laughs> so that was Wee Joe's, yeah. That was where the people from Stranagloch used to drink. My father, my father and my uncle and Danny, the McHugh's people like that, used to drink there. It was just a straightforward pub, big high contract. I do vaguely remember it. Yeah. So, where was he from? He's from Glenties, I suppose, was he? Or? I think he, he probably was. Well, maybe. I don't know. And when you say the McHugh's, what McHugh's are you talking about? Uh, you know Danny McHugh's. You know that when you when you're coming in from Strabay, mm. and when you come down the street, you know where the bre the brook is. Yeah. On the the house on the right there, as you cross that bridge, was McHugh's house. Oh, was that McHugh's? Yeah, I do McHugh's. remember. Oh, gee, that's a blast from the past. Did you remember that? Mm. When did the last? When did? When did it stop being the McHugh's house? Eighties. Mm. That would have been probably a. It was Danny McHugh and Patsy McHugh. I was going to say, were they brothers living together? Yeah, a whole lot of brothers living I together. I vaguely yeah. remember that. And they were yeah. sheep farmers, were they? Yeah. So they had dogs, remember these? Sort of... Well, I used to be cycling by them. There'd be always some kind of dog issue. Dog. Right yeah, there'd always be a dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I was going to have to count the sheep once to Yeah. I oh, don't know. It must have been. And then that's that. next Next is McGuinness's, which was, uh, didn't have a, it didn't have an attic in those days. There was a little shop on the left hand side. And when I would come out from the pictures, I would go in there to buy a loaf of bread and some butter or something for the breakfast. All right. Well, you see, we're not going to do it tonight. But the next video we're going to do is we're going to go over that old video of yeah. Lenties and yeah. um, maybe some of those old photographs. And you, you will, we'll see this again. Remember, we did this the last time in that other video. That's now yeah. a private link. But um, we right, we'll go back over them. Yeah. So... Because you can see that we shop in that old 1950s video, yeah. remember? Yeah, that's right. You said you used to get ice cream there for... Um... It was just an ice cream. ice cream, no. It was just mostly groceries I got. Oh, where was the ice cream place? Uh, that was up on Dugan's. Where's or, that? Or Sweeney's. Where? Uh, that was up the street. For uh, the... All right, maybe that's something again we can mix up. Well, there you go. That's why we need to do a second video. Uh, anyway, uh, right. Was this always Kennedy's? Uh, Barney Candies, yes, that's where I bought my first pair of football boots. He used to sell shoes. Ah, and then he was a petrol pump. Was there always a petrol pump? Petr no, there was no, not not when I came in there first, you know, but he had his shoe shop there. And this I is the first petrol pump, you know, yeah. coming down the town. I remember, I remember, I remember us getting petrol here, yeah, Burma. yeah, yeah, Burma, Burma? Burma. Right, yeah, yeah. What was that's it? Right. Was it always Burma or what do you have before that? Don't think so. Isn't that an oil company, petrol company, Burma? It was, yeah, yeah. yeah. And who is there in the house beside him? Hmm? Who is there now? I think there was a girl called Anna Mae Finn lived there. Or, Frank, or was it Frank Gallagher? There was a Frank Gallagher lived there. He was a, a tailor and he was a wheelchair. He was in a wheelchair. Oh, was he a tailor? Did he have his tailor? No, he had a tailoring shop down the back. His shop was down the back. But... Well, How did you get get to it? Oh, you just wheeled around behind Kennedy's. You went down the road behind Kennedy's and wheeled left. You went down here? I yeah. Yeah. How come Google Street View didn't go down there? 
Can you go down? You can go down there. If you go down no, there. No, let me go down. Mm. Yeah, it didn't go down there. For crying out loud, why wouldn't it go down Church Road? I've had it going down the bazaars places and go down there. Yeah, so you went down there and you were able to go in the back. Yeah, it right. swung around to the left there and you're down the yeah, back. Yeah, I get you. I think it was there. practically a little village down there. You know, there's two or three houses there. Yeah. Hmm. You'd be curious now, I might. Mm, why? And I will keep walking, or else this video will be a two hour video. Mm -hmm. Right, this house. I think Gallagher's lived there, yeah. Then oh, there's a blast in past. I remember the, the, the an older lady lived there. Very uh, old, old lady lived there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in her house for some reason. Why would yeah. I have been in her house? Seven lines or something? No. <laughs> why have been why have been was? Anyhow, that we used to do treasure hunts back in the day, yeah. In the Harvest Fair, <laughs> we called in to her looking for a clue or something. All right, it must have been again, mm. 80s, yeah, yeah. But is that house closed it's up still there? there? Yeah, but it's closed up, it's closed up, yeah. Oh, it's a pity. But anyway, you remember what well, can you remember that house? Not much, not it? much, no, no, it's very bit none. And fun. then, of course, the next one was uh, McDevitt's. All right. All right. You know, yeah, well, I'm trying to, and this is McGuinness's here. Yeah. Was that always McGuinness's or? No. What was it then? Was it always a. It was just a house, I think, you know. Oh, it was just a I house. can't remember who lived there. And who lived in these two? I don't know. I don't. There was a guy called Paddy Dinchy uh, lived in one of those houses. Uh, he was a veteran of the First World War, if I, I remember rightly, you know. I can't yes. remember how it was right then. We knew him as Paddy Dinchy. Say that his name again. Paddy Dinchy was called. I don't know. It was Dinchy a, 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 a might have been a nickname, you know? Huh. Dinchy. And that's one of those houses there. Yeah, some one of those houses I thought it was. I, I don't know. Hmm. And when we're looking around, just we this is McDavid's, right, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. That's McDavid's. Yeah, I remember by my yeah. spinners in there. Yeah. What was your man's name? Um. Oh God. What was his first name? Yeah, I threw you off. Dan was it Dan McDavid? Was it? I forget. That's not ringing a bell. But uh, that's a nice wee shop. I remember very. Yeah. Yeah. Very... That house has been done up now. Conor McDavid out beside me is doing that house up completely. Yeah. And, and everything. Yeah. And who's in this side? Is this? Oh, this was the shop entrance. This shop en shop entrance and the house entrance. Yeah. Nice. And the sheds down the back in the yard as well. We ever down there? Did he? Have oh anything? yeah, he had a he had his workshop. Uh, Colin McDevitt had the workshop down there. Well, like, work on cars. Yeah. Cars. Yeah. You wouldn't get a car down there, would you? Oh, you would. Yeah, no bother. Sorry, maybe it's just a perspective. Why didn't you know? think? Right. Not oh, very good. And sure, just when we're staring at this side here, there's the tavern. Yeah. Well, when I came. I remember that as the uh, I think it was the Quiet Man they called them. This pub, uh, yeah. Because and it was the same idea of a house with an integrated shop or bar. Yeah, it was a bar. Yeah, I always remember him driving an old battered Hillman. A Hillman Hunter. It wasn't a Hunter. It was before the Hunter. What would that be? I looked that up. Let's have a look here. The hunter, I see. A husky. No. No. All right, here we here's the car models. Jeez, they didn't have the, the... It wasn't in them. <laughs> no, I love back in the day that Hillman 11, Hillman 14, uh, Hillman 20. So this would be. Probably... Hillman Minx. You see that Hillman Minx? Yeah. It could be something like that. Uh, Minx. Yeah. That's your. Yeah. No. It's, uh, or even 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 before that, what what year was that? Yeah, I mean, Minks. The oldest one was this one. Oh, geez, yeah, there's some old ones here. Look at this. That's more like it. That was nine forty nine. That'd make more sense. There's the yeah. older one. No, it's not that one. No, no, no. Let's for that again. Or that now. It's a happy lad. Happy heading this lad. 
It was more like that thing. Yeah. That type of, or that, you know. That's 953, it's a fancy yeah. one. Yeah. 54. Uh, no, you get I think it was, general idea of them. I think it was something that it, 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 was, it was that general shape, if I remember rightly. Anyway. So that was called The Quiet Man. And who did you say it was again? Sorry. Um, who owned it? Well, then The Quiet Man, it was bought then by Jackie Campbell from Letcher McAward. Mm -hmm. Jackie's son still owns it. All ah, right. Is that bar still a, still yeah, a bar? Still one, yeah. yeah, yeah, still a bar, yeah. I remember that time I was in there. Uh, no, yeah, I kind of skipped a wee bit there. Um, so this guy, this house here with the we um, obviously threw it into the back. Yeah, I, I can't remember. There was a Manan Kennedy lived in some house there. She was a teacher up on the on the boys' school. I think she lived there. Now, whether you know, there's three doors there, and I can't tell you who lived in which. You know exactly. You know. Yeah, no, fair enough. But uh, you see the see see that uh, house of Jim Keys, the front door Jim Keys. Yeah. There was a little two one up one down shop there that myself my, my, my uncle used to rent to store gas cylinders in. And the next one, the next one was Keys shop, Keys little butcher shop. No. And then Jim bought the other one and remodeled the whole thing, you know. Oh, I, I can remember that, yeah. yeah. So that was the place where you stored, you rented out just to store gas bottles. Store gas bottles, and down in the basement, we stored turf, and you went down that alleyway to the right. Oh, I remember you saying that, yeah. yeah. Just go down there and get your bag of turf and carry it up the street. Carry yeah, up the street to here. Uh, yeah, yes, exactly, yeah. yeah. So we might as well finish this, this wee junction out. This place. James the Barber. Oh, I do remember that. James yeah. Miguel. Three story house. Yeah. Hmm. And the house beside it was never a three story. Mm, no, there was a basement in it. What? And there was probably a basement in Miguel's as well. Yeah, there is. How do you know? You could go around the back to it. This house. Yeah, you go around behind down that alleyway or down behind Barney Kennedy's. Oh, and that way, Barney Kennedy. You go around. Yeah, you can, then, then you can drive all around the back there. One second. You turn here. This is hard to see in this. Church hmm. Road there. If you see, look at a zoom in on the Church Road there. Uh, no, no, it's see. not. It's not going to zoom no, in. No, he didn't go down there. No. No, it's it's um you can't really see it there. But anyway, so anything else about this place? The John of Arbor's Wind was he was he an operating barber till when? Uh, he must have been. Uh, well, probably it must be early seventies. I would think. You know. I remember the the remains of the we, the pole. Pole there. Yeah. Yeah. The barber's pole. And so, but there's a traveling barber. Was there always a traveling barber as well? Mm, yeah, lately, later years. Ah, yeah. lately, right. So this was the bar, the town. Was, yeah. there, was there only one barber in the town? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. And when he stops, I guess people had to travel or the barber had to come to you somehow. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So this used to be that and that shop was actually that actually before when I came to Glantis first that was a shop that was closed up but it belonged to John Conan who was a who was a, a cousin of my uncle John's. Aye, I think you remember telling me that. And what did what did he have in the shop? What kind of shop? I don't know what was in originally. But no, when you can you, when you remember it, you remember it as John Conan's shop. Yeah, yeah. You can't remember what he sold in it. Don't remember. Uh, was he actually even operating as a shop that time? Ah, uh, right, right. Get you. But I remember it as uh, Boyle's. Boyle, yeah. Hugh Boyle bought it had electrical and yeah, shop. yeah. I remember he had all the matchbox cars in it. That's yeah, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's when I get the matchbox cars. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That was a that was an important shop for me. And what's this one here? 
That's don't a, remember. I don't know why it's showing the tavern bar there. It was closed up a lot, I think, when I was in town. Oh, it was closed up this? Yeah. Was it a shop or just somebody's? I think there was a shop in it. I think there was a little shop in it. Well, I can't wait to get some comments from people. They might be able to say like. And then that was, uh, then, that was yeah, it. that was uh, that was uh, that house there. The left when I came to Glentish first, the left hand part would belong to Frank Quinn and Kate Quinn, and they had a chip shop there, just where you have your pointer there. Mm -hmm. There's a chip shop there, and the other side of it was my uncle, bicycle and radios. Now, when you moved to Glenties to stay with John Conan above his shop. It wasn't his shop. No, 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 no. So when did he drop this place? Uh, that he must have moved. I think he dropped it about nineteen fifty one or fifty two. You know. And then you came in to keep him company. Yeah. Uh, his sister died. His sister d dropped dead in fifty three, and I think I think I made him come in the next year. You know. Yeah. Right. So now, so can you remember being in this shop? Oh God, yeah. The counter was piled high with radios, and then you went into the back. The back uh, part of the shop was where all the bicycles were repaired. So the, the back, sh the the back of the shop was. Um, I remember there was wooden floored. All the bikes were there, and there was a trap door in the floor going down into the cellar. Because I remember standing on the trap door and being pushed off off it from below by Paddy O'Donnell coming up with parts from the cellar <laughs> for a bicycle or something. You <laughs> were launched. Into the river. Lunch, off the trap door, yeah. And you had to bring the bicycles through the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, whole, the, whole front of it, the whole front of it was whole front of the shop was piled up with radios. But that yeah. yard was not accessible to you. No, it wasn't, no. Right. And this was the chipper here. So you had the chips and there, yeah. smell the chips be wafting in. I think <laughs> they as far as I know, as far as I know, the uh the chip pans chip uh pans was fired by coal because there was no electricity uh, there was only dc electricity and was that was just used for lights you know ah yeah you're right. that only came on at night yeah yeah, Today, yeah there was no electricity so coal fired and animal Chipper. dripping probably probably the best chips you'd ever eat in your life i'd say being there seriously i'd say they were good Oh, they were good chips, yeah. 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 I remember this used to be Melly's when I was a kid. Yeah. Chipper, yeah. And they had them in newspaper. Yeah. Yeah. Really good as well. Anyway, it's great. There's a tradition of food there ever since. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, that's interesting. And then oh, I suppose we skipped a wee bit here now. Um, so that's that was that was the Ulster Bank when I came to Glantish first. Oh, and it moved across the road then. Um so and bank it was also bank when you were there right yeah it was a fine building really wasn't it yeah no i came there in the yeah and that's the car park into the car park for the for the bank in there like you're driving that's how you get into the car park right oh i think your internet's yeah you've stalled there can you hear me let me just pause this. Oh, there's your. Mm -hmm. 